بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس ٹوڈے آئی ویل ٹرائی ٹو شو یو ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ رپورٹس لائک پرچیز آرڈر یوزنگ ایپیکس ڈیفالٹ فنکشنلٹیز اسٹینڈرڈ فنکشنلٹیز نارملی ان ایپیکس یو کین کریٹ ٹیبولر رپورٹس in the co in the form of columns but let's say if you have to print uh, po you can't create those reports for that you need xml publisher uh, which has itself a separate license okay now uh, i just created this small application uh, as a lab and if you see here my po is there and below uh, i have few lines for each right so i have created a link here if i'll click here this po so this PO is there in front of me right this is how report will be there and then I have a print button at the bottom I will click this and I can print right that's it quite straightforward it looks okay now let me show you how I did this we will not use any third party tool or any plugin nothing just standard apex functionality right okay now if you see here in addition to my forms which i uh, created for entering data and pos uh, i have created one page which is called purchase order printing right you can name whatever you want okay uh, i will show you how to create but this, let me show you how it is done at the moment okay <clears throat> now if you see here i have uh, first one is it's should be model dialog the page right this is first setting okay then i will come to this uh, content body and this I have a PL SQL I will tell you how to write this but uh, you can see here I have created HTML this is pure HTML right and if you see here below I have two loops for loops for these are for header lines and these are for lines sorry for header and this is for lines and at the bottom i am using this http.p to print html i will paste this um, code as well so you can take this as a starting point nothing to worry so what i did here if you see i am passing a parameter of uh, po number or po header id whatever you call it uh, to my main query which is my po numbers because I am clicking uh, on that link to print and then I have this uh, I will say sub for loop within this loop main loop and here I am seeing if you see here should be this one so for each this PO lines will be printed right I'm not going to logic because that you can understand better I'm just showing you how to uh, use this functionality okay then i have this items po header uh, i will remove this i don't need it mm, po header id no this is required because this is my variable the only thing is i will make it hidden i don't need to show on my report or on my page okay and then i have a button uh, in the region where you, i have a dynamic action if you see <clears throat> event click and then execute javascript only this is the code window dot print parenthesis closed and semicolon that's it okay now what i will do let me take this uh, code and we will create another page just to show you i'm just taking this okay how to create this code now this is the good question first okay mm, better let me create a new page so you will uh, know the steps how to create 
then we will come to this page on the new page that's okay I will create a page blank page right and I will name it my report or whatever you call it uh, dummy PO right I'm just putting it a name sorry 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 I can set it over here itself while creating I will say it should be modal model <coughs> model will uh, come out of uh, the browser window itself so it will be a separate sort of window so it will not uh, include your menus and anything so while printing uh, it will be only that whatever is displayed on that model page or dialog okay so I selected here otherwise I had to create uh, or select there's uh, properties so here you can select your navigation or if even if it is not required because normally I'm calling from that um, grid so you don't need it okay and here okay this is my page right okay come here if you see here and then where is that option okay if you come on the region if you see here region so you will come as a PL SQL dynamic content right click right to the I will click in the body right okay you name it whatever you want to name it and then click here and paste okay now let me show you how this uh, works what I did uh, I went to this uh, w3schools.com to get my HTML uh, code what I did I came to HTML tables right this is a sample table I modified a little bit and you can as well try yourself okay uh, so what I did I was not comfortable with these uh, colors background color so I had removed this color so if you see here you can even remove remove before going there so you can see here right so this is my standard table and I ha add added one more column that you can do it there you don't need to do it here it's up to you okay then I copied here from here this uh, code and then if you see here see I I defined three variables header body and footer then if you see here that HTML is copied here right and I'm assigning first to header because we have loops so we have to con uh, have these uh, variables you can have one variable just for understanding purpose I kept multiple otherwise you can even have one no issue you can keep appending right <coughs> okay then up to this I am closing till body header then I am creating a table if you see here that is for header on the top PO number and all those things right okay then let me show you here as well so let me click here okay excellent so this is my first table this one on the header side you can have your own as per your requirements right I just added few temporary columns or some temporary tables uh, defined just to show you how it works then I created this uh, table and I am just because on the header there is no headers or uh, table headings so I removed that heading uh, tags and if you see here in my second table I have these headers but in first table I am not having any headers right okay this is how it will be uh, in SQL uh, sorry in HTML so let's say for whatever HTML code is there that should be under these inverted comma right and then double pipe sign to concatenate and then this is my h is my uh, variable of this uh, for loop and then uh, pu header id is my 
uh, very uh, sorry uh, column name right. So, this is how I just format it as well. So, it will be easy for me to see. So, I have uh, four columns four uh, no two columns two columns of data, but uh, it is actually four columns 1 2 3 4 and 4 rows right. So, here it goes then here I have the headers for the second table which is lines table, but before that I am adding two uh, empty rows spaces. Then here if you see again I am adding to this is now my by, uh, sorry body starting from here. So, this is body. So, in loop I am just adding the data values if you see here header is before loop. So, header will come only one time and then I am just because I do not have uh, somewhere amount total. So, I am just adding over here if you have uh, amount total in your uh, uh, PO header or somewhere you can use that otherwise I, I had just uh, calculated over here. So, with each line it will add to V underscore amount which I am printing here in the fourth or other on the last column where it is. So, all other columns I kept empty this is how I understood maybe you can explore other HTML tags anyhow. So, this is closed this my loop is closed and footer I am not adding anything you can add whatever you want you have some terms or something like that and HTML is closed here right. And at the bottom I am saying HTTP dot P V header concatenate V body concatenate V footer. So, I am concatenating all these three variables into and printing it right here ok. This is done uh, <clears throat> I am just let me save it as well ok. So, now another thing is you have to add a button right to print. So, I will just create create a button this is my button I will say print button print let me type it print and then I will say create dynamic action right ok. It should be on the click and here at the last true I have to select here the Java this one right javascript ok. I think it is window dot print window dot print that is it and save nothing else ok. If you have to pass the variable uh, and your link to this table you have to create one uh, text item. Uh, actually I am not giving training in this session about apex, but I am showing you how you can generate such reports which was uh, I will say show stopper or bottleneck of uh, using oracle apex. So, let me save it. So, I am just confirming window dot print right ok. Let me go to page 7 because it is there just want to show you confirm mm, yeah window dot print that is it that is it ok. <clears throat> then once you are here you will link with this column this uh, page which we created as a 8th uh, um, page now, uh, but since we have already linked. So, I will just click here ok let me click the second PO right. So, if you see here my second page is 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and Amazon it is Amazon if you see here and down we have Samsung and iPhone same here down uh, let me close this let me show you right right sorry it was not clicked ok see Samsung and iPhone right. So, now if I will click here you can see my PO and then what you have to do uh, if once you confirm it is all ok as per your uh, desired format you can uh, indent write or whatever I have not done. So, then you can just click print 
and you can set your uh, page settings whatever is required and that's it here I have this uh, because I'm not connecting to printer at the moment so that's why it is saying uh, PDF otherwise you can just directly print to the printer right now let me save as a PDF okay that's it so it is you can save as a PDF as well it is up to you now right excellent I think it's quite straight straightforward just you have to take from this uh, W3 schools the template for your HTML as per your requirement even you can change here uh, as per your desired you can uh, let's say for example if you have to um, name the field names let's say for example instead of company it is PO number I'm just changing it here and then let's see try if you see here it is changed right so even because this data is not required this is just a dummy sample data we will remove this data right we need these headers and then we will show the data so my top table which is my PO header this that will not have these headings because I'm using only this data part so I'm putting PO number let's say here and the data field here column and then the second column heading or title and then I added fourth column how you can add fourth column let's say for example if I'm here I will just add another one fourth that's it right so I have added column so same way you will do for the data right so you will add another data point as well or uh, data tag like this I'm just just right so it will be uh, an easy and free of cost report no plugin standard functionality straightforward easy and the only thing you need expertise for this is uh, just to play with this HTML uh, to give you a starting point what I will do I will paste this uh, code uh, under the video or link I will share a link so you can download or copy and uh, start using it right Thank you very much and please share your feedback. Allah Hafiz.